In this video, we'll cover five of the top waterfalls that you can visit around Greenville, South Carolina. And I'm gonna throw in a couple bonuses along the way. Greenville is located in the upstate of South Carolina, really the northwest corner of the state, and sits below the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. These mountains and the foothills are the location of beautiful forests, camping sites, and waterfalls. Some are easy to reach, but others require a little more work, as we'll get into here. Our first waterfall in no particular order is Looking Glass Falls. Located in the Pisgah National Forest, this stunning cascade is a must-see for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. As you approach the falls, you'll be greeted by the sound of rushing water and the sight of mist rising from the base of the falls. The 60-foot tall waterfall flows over a smooth, sloping rock face, creating a curtain of water that's truly a sight to behold. This may be the easiest waterfall to reach, and you can practically view it from your car. During the summer months, the pool at the base of the falls is a popular spot for swimming and picnicking. Swimming in the falls is permitted, but it is swim at your own risk. Please stay off the falls themselves. Dogs are welcome, but on a leash, please. The area around the falls is well shaded, making it a great place to escape the heat and enjoy the beauty of the forest. For those looking for a more adventurous experience, there are several hiking trails in the area that offer beautiful views of the falls and the surrounding landscape. One of the most popular trails is the Looking Glass Rock Trail, which takes hikers to the top of a nearby mountain for panoramic views of the falls and the surrounding area. Next up is Sliding Rock Falls. Also located in the Pisgah National Forest, this 60-foot tall waterfall is a must-see for anyone visiting the area, and you'll see why. As you approach the falls, you'll be greeted by the sound of rushing water and the sight of people sliding down the falls into the pool at the bottom. The water is crystal clear and refreshing, making it a popular spot for swimming and cooling off on hot summer days. The water is cool. The natural slides at the falls are mostly gentle, making it a great place for families to enjoy the water. Lifeguards are on duty during the summer season to ensure the safety of visitors. In addition to the main waterfall, there are several cascades and pools along the trail that are worth exploring, but not for playing on. The area around the falls is well shaded and offers plenty of picnic tables and restrooms for visitors. I grew up going to Sliding Rock and I would highly recommend wearing jean shorts or another tougher material than a regular bathing suit. This goes for men and women of all ages. The rocks you slide down can be a little harder to handle without the extra protection, and a normal bathing suit is more likely to not survive the experience. That said, Sliding Rock is great for kids and adults as long as you can swim well. Our third waterfall is actually multiple waterfalls. Located in Sumter National Forest, Falls Creek Falls features a series of falls over several 30 to 40 foot drops and cascades on rocky surfaces. The area around the falls is beautiful and serene with tall trees providing plenty of shade and a peaceful atmosphere, a lot of rhododendron. The falls are surrounded by a network of hiking trails, making it a great destination for outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers. One of the most popular trails is the Fall Creek Falls Trail, which takes hikers to the base of the falls for a close-up view of the cascading water. The trail is moderately strenuous, but the stunning views and the falls and the surrounding forest make it well worth the effort. In addition to the main falls, there are several smaller cascades and pools along the trail that are really worth exploring. The area is home to a wide variety of plant and animal life, so keep your eyes peeled for interesting wildlife and flora. Up next is Rainbow Falls, a terrific beauty in the Jones Gap State Park. Heading in, I will warn you that you'll lose cell reception before you reach the park, so plan ahead if you're traveling in a group to make sure you connect. The falls are a moderate to strenuous hike, and you'll enjoy the cooling mist of the falls when you arrive. This mist is where the falls gets its name, since on sunny days, you're going to see beautiful rainbows cast by the sun coming through the mist. A bonus waterfall further up the trail here is Turtleback Falls. When it comes to falls you can slide down, this one is harder to get to, but I prefer it to sliding rock. When I was a kid, you could park very close by, but the current landowner is preventing that and trail access through the park is the only way now. Here you'll find a great fall with a drop into the water at the end. Strong swimmers of all ages will really enjoy cooling off after the hard work of this hike. Here's my brothers and I at Turtleback Falls in the summer. The whole family was there. There's not a lot of great areas to picnic in the nearby woods, but you will find several flat spaces on the rocks below the falls where you can spread out, put down blankets for a picnic, or just use the sun to warm yourself up after enjoying the waterfall. When I'm not enjoying the majestic beauty of South Carolina with my family, I am an expert local realtor helping clients move to their next step. 
If I can help you learn about our wonderful area and get you to your next home, please reach out to me via phone or email, but phone is better. And if you're out of the area, you're also welcome to check out my new Facebook group, Tips for Moving to Greenville, South Carolina. Now, waterfall number five is a biggie. For the largest waterfall in South Carolina, head to Caesars Head State Park. You'll find Ravencliff Falls at the end of a two-mile trail. You can see the falls from afar at the observation area after a fairly easy hike. If you're more adventurous, you can complete the 8.8-mile loop of the Ravencliff Falls Trail and the Dismal Trail. What a name. This hike will be more work and takes around five hours to complete, so be sure to pack some food and plenty of water. The trail is open year-round and dogs on a leash are welcome. You are expected to be off the trail an hour before dark and you need to register with the park before embarking on your trip. Because no tour of waterfalls near Greenville is complete without it, our next bonus waterfall is Reedy River Falls. If you're watching my videos, you've seen it in the past. It's located in the heart of downtown Greenville in Falls Park, named after the falls themselves. This waterfall is the centerpiece of the park with the Liberty Bridge crossing over it. You can picnic above or below the falls, enjoy many activities that the downtown park has to offer. In the summer, there'll be Shakespeare in the park. If you have small children, there's a splash pad just up from the falls after you walk under the Main Street Bridge. Be sure to stop and get some ice cream or coffee at one of the nearby shops so you can meander through the park. Thank you for checking out some of my favorite waterfalls near Greenville, South Carolina. If there's more you'd like to hear about, let me know in the comments. For more content on what's available for people living near Greenville, South Carolina, please subscribe and stay tuned.